veggie section and then the smoke just coming out from the inside. Copy, uh, you don't have to have that team on because you have 27 back there. Was anybody injured or hurt? No, no, no injured. Nobody was. How long are you going to keep the store closed? Uh, until the hazmat comes and they told us to open, you know. So I'm just waiting for the hazmat uh, recommendation. Okay. Units uh, were called the scene here at the Island Market. A report of an explosion and smoke filling uh, the second floor and the um, uh, different areas of the grocery store. Uh, crews arrived on scene. They found uh, people still in trying to get out. They were able to evacuate five, uh, approximately five people out of the building, set up for medical to ensure that everybody was safe. They ended up finding out that everybody was okay. We have one person that they're still evaluating. Uh, they went in uh, full protective gear to check out the cause of the explosion. The cause of the explosion uh, it was, is under investigation, but we do know it was a Freon mechanical explosion in the, in the area that so supplies, yeah, supplies the Freon to all the refrigeration in the market. Um, about 250 pounds roughly of Freon escaped. That was pounds of Freon. Freon. And, uh, it escaped, and at that point, that's why you know people didn't know what it was, whether it was smoke. It's kind of a combination of a small fire from the explosion and and, and the Freon um, release. The positive thing is the fire was out when they got on, got up to the second floor to look at the explosion area. Um, they were able to isolate that Freon system and ensure that uh, no other Freon came out. And once they did that, there was some product, an unknown product around the machines and the machine area. As a precaution, they brought in the hazmat team, checked out the, uh, uh, the substances, they're non-hazmat, ends up being coolant and oils from the explosion from, from the mechanical system. And at this point, they're gonna be cleaning up and evaluating from here, but it's under investigation. We'll find out what caused it. We're not sure at this time.